A few days ago, the internet temporarily broke when some completely ridiculous pictures emerged, answering the question of just what exactly the heck Disney was supposed to do with a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves movie that's not allowed to have a white woman in it or any dwarves. I mean, most of us predicted we'd end up seeing something truly cringeworthy, but I don't think any of us were really, truly prepared for just how cringe-inducing this was going to become. The pictures were ridiculous, the costumes absolutely insane, and while yes, it doesn't appear that the actual cast are in these photos, the costumes are, and they, oh boy, oh my god. God, the, they look like they look like blue state homeless activists. That's in rainbow colored clothes, I suppose you could call them. But no, utter trash. Of course, star Rachel Zegler has had to come out herself to attack those of us who've been laughing at this parade of poop for the last few days. But uh, in the process, Miss Zegler has accidentally undone the very narrative that caused her to get cast in the role in the first place. We live for moments like this, so do not go anywhere and let's get into it. Hello legends, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will, see what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely day, consider liking the video if you find that you are at some point enjoying it, and maybe even subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on any more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion from yours truly. Thank you very much. We're going to go over to one of the usual suspects here at CBR.com, a site that you cannot trust any further than you can throw its servers. Uh, with the headline here, Snow White remake star responds after set photo spark controversy. And I want to make it very clear right here. What this girl is going to say is stupid. It's a virtue signal. It's a bunch of, you know, the usual crap that these woke ideologues spout every single day. But every now and then they make a catastrophic error and they inadvertently say something that undermines the exact things that caused them to have these beliefs and be in these roles in the first place. And this is one of those mwah, occasions. Okay, here's the article at the uh, in the first place, right? So we're just going to go through it. Rachel Zegler, the star of Disney's live-action Snow White, has seen enough of the online backlash surrounding the movie's cast. Well, I mean, the thing is, if you are going to cast a Latina as a Snow White person in a German folktale, I mean, you are asking for controversy. If you are then going to listen to the ramblings of one dwarf actor in Peter Dinklage, who's nowhere near as smart as he thinks he is, just because you played Tyrion Lannister does not make you a genius. And he came out, of course, and said that it was offensive to call them dwarves, to have dwarves in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And in the process, he effectively pulled the ladder up behind him. Other dwarf actors, even WWE's Hornswoggle, went and did interviews as suddenly they became incredibly relevant for five minutes, where every single one of them said, Dude, what are you doing? Stop. We want to work. Thank you very much, Dinklage. You, I don't want to say race traitor, class traitor. I don't know what kind of traitor, but traitor for sure. Anyway. Back to Zegler. Previously, it had been revealed that Zegler was starring in a live-action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. At the time, there had been some trolls. That would be people who care and don't think that these cynical race swaps should be done because they are cynical. Uh, but hey, you call us trolls if you want, although I don't think you know what that word actually means. On social media, complaining about the casting, unhappy with seeing a Latina incarnation of the Disney princess. Her name is Snow White. And the woman you cast is not white. Well, she's not exactly black either. She's not really... She's off-white, you know? But, hey, the point is that by their own standards, on the left, this is a non-white person playing a white person. Again. A person so white, it's literally her fucking name. Come on! Recently, new set photos emerged of Snow White's reimagined seven companions, consisting of varying sizes, ethnicities, and genders, and dressed like a traveling circus. That too sparked some online discourse with some on social media, leading to a response on Twitter from Zegler herself. Now, we've seen the pictures of the, the dwarves themselves. You can check out my most previous video um, on the subject to get a good look at them and my... Or, or Chill of the Fans, my most recent stream, or anything else that I've done talking about that subject. So I'm not going to drag you through the, po the photos again. You've probably already seen them. But here is Zegler's response on Twitter. 
She says, uh, extremely appreciative of the love I feel from those defending me online, but please don't tag me in the nonsensical discourse about my casting. I really, truly do not want to see it. So I leave you with these photos. I hope every child knows that they can be a princess no matter what. So, you know, in essence, what she's basically saying there is look at this, these pictures of children dressing up as Disney princesses. Doesn't matter what color they are, they should all be able to identify with the concept of being being a princess even if that princess on on screen at least is white however the narrative that they are constantly peddling that has allowed them to get to this insane point of constantly race and gender swapping things is supposed to be one of diversity and equity and inclusion terminology that doesn't actually mean what it's claiming to mean but whatever anyway we have to go with their narrative for the benefit of outing this complete and total stupidity so if we are to accept their flawed hypothesis that black, brown, yellow, red, whatever color children cannot, cannot see themselves in these characters and thus feel left out and unincluded. Then how exactly is it that in these fucking pictures from what must be 20 years ago, it is in fact Rachel Zegler, non-white woman, non-white child, who has seen Snow White and identifies with the character to such an extent that she's actually dressed up as Snow White when she was a child, 20 years before all this madness began. Ha! Huh. Gotcha, bitches! There she is again as, I guess, that's either Cinderella or someone like that. I mean, I'm not an expert on Disney princesses. Do I look like an expert on Disney princesses? And, of course, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, there's a couple of them there. But all the time we're seeing this young girl who is, by their own terminology, non-white, dressed as white women from white characters in Disney movies. But, bearing in mind that they think that that should be impossible, everything Zegler has said has just smashed the narrative uh, to pieces and you love to see it. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below and don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it share it out as well it always helps to get a few more eyes on it which helps other people who've never seen the channel or heard about this story to find out about it as well and subscribe to will of the fans so that you never miss out if you'd like to see some more of me because i'd like to see some more of you i will be back with another video for you very very soon but until then see you next time